All right, so the one who praises be unto you, how about Bashem, how about Shai? Bashem, Rechak, with Dash. Double honors unto the elder apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone, who are well. Only to us is truth. And salutes unto the Archim, who continue to push the word in truth <coughs> and in sincerity. Um, shalom to the 144,000, the rest of the elect. Um, and, um, yeah, man, this is going to be a quick one. Um, just a quick meditation on, you know, Second Peter's the third chapter, man. Right. <clears throat> um, as we know, this year has uh, been coined um, by the elder apostle to her, the hopeful year of uh, Jacob's trouble. You know, and Jacob's, you know, Jacob's trouble is going to bring trouble for everyone else, you know, along with it, man. Anyways, this is Second Peter 3 and 1, and it says, This second epistle, beloved, I, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. You know, you get into that word remembrance, is to bring back to mind, man. You know, um, so uh, these are things that are known amongst the assemblies, but these epistles of the Apostle Peter, we're there to reiterate, you know, and, um, you know, that's likened on to today as well, because, um, you know, the prophecies and the scriptures have been taught unto us, man, you know, the scriptures speak about from a, from a youth, I have known thy holy scriptures, you know, um, you know, if you feel, you know, like in the ancient world, we'd be born into it. You know, and according to the law, would be raised up in the in the scriptures. You know, um, but when we come into this truth, we're as newborn babes. So, we're we're as uh, babies again. You know, so from the moment we came into this truth, you know, as as um, newborn babes, we've been reared up in the holy scriptures, man. You know, so now that we're at the very end, you know. Um, it's more a thing of remembrance, man. You know, the information that we bring out, it's been taught to us years ago by our apostles. You know, and more information comes out and things and topics are builded upon and things of that nature. But, you know, <clears throat> for the most part, these are concepts we've been taught already. But now it's about the remembrance and the application thereof through wisdom and the Holy Spirit, unto our salvation. Okay? It says that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before, you see, by the Holy Prophets. Alright? Um, Nabayam Kodash, the Holy Prophets, man, and the commandment of us, the Apostles, and the Lord, of the Lord and Saviour. Okay? You know, so these words are written you know, for us to remember, man, okay, and it says, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lusts, you know, and you've got scoffers in the, in the form of people that try and, like, disprove what, you know, you know, uh, our belief system, you know, try and disprove the scriptures, you know, <clears throat> you know, the likes of, like, Volcab Malone and others, man, you know, who've come and gone, okay, walking after their own lusts, you know, and saying where is the promise of his coming, you know, people that mock say, you know, you guys say every year, Yahweh Shah is coming back and he doesn't come back, you know, <clears throat> you've got people, as we're told through the accounts of our, you know, elder apostles and elder bishops, you know, people who mocked the year 2000 thing, which was scriptural anyway, but over the years, you know, the men of the Lord, um, you know, and of course, you know, top brothers can expound on it more, but, you know, um, uh, uh, over the years, there's been, um, you know, people that scoff against, you know, the belief system that we have as Hebrew Israelites, man, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? Oh, uh, <clears throat> for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation, man, okay? For this they willingly are ignorant of, 
that by the word of the Most High the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. Speaking about what? Speaking about um, the Lord having mercy um, upon Noah and his family, you know, to build the ark. But outside of that, everyone got destroyed, man. Okay. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. So Apostle Peter is painting the 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 correlation between the destruction of the world then and the destruction of the world to come. Um and when I say world I'm talking about a man's rulership, a set period, okay, an age, you know, uh, um eon. Okay. Because back then the whole world got flooded, you know, but in this time only key places are going to get destroyed, as it were, you know, nukes and stuff, but not onto completion. But the place that's going to get destroyed and total is America, which, according to biblical prophecies, Babylon the Great, also known of um, Sodom and e so that also known as Sodom and Egypt. OK. And it says, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. That one day with the Lord, or that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us who are not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You know, those who come to repentance will be of the elect, bring forth meat, um, good for repentance, man. You know, meat meaning that which is good. Okay, so those who are going to come on to the repentance are the elect, everyone else. The nation of Israel are going to have to, um, you know, the scriptures speak about it, um, the two thirds shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be passed through the fire, man. You know, two thirds of Israelites in America, they're going to get destroyed, man. All right? And it says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that therein shall be burned up. That's talking about your nukes, your missiles, your ICBMs, the North Country, you know, Gog and Magog, you know, all teaming up to come against America, the virgin daughter of Babylon. Verse 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what man of persons will you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? And the holy conversation and godliness is this scripture, these scriptures, this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding, you know, the Holy Bible broken down in a, um, correctly in its truth, man. Not no bugged out alternative doctrines, man. But the true doctrine, okay, which is taught and upheld by the elder apostles and elder bishops on down here at Great Millstone, okay? Not anywhere else, man, you know? Um, um, looking for... Looking for and hasten unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens shall be of, on fire and shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. And that's what's going to be, you know, Second Ezra 6 and 9, for Esau is the end of the world, but Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. It's this third world war, which is just now about to get physical, you know, Watch as well as pray, right? When we're watching the prophecies, you can see it's about to get physical. Uh, the world to come, you know, um, is, 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 is Jacob, is the beginning of it that followeth. And the kingdom of uh, Yahweh Shai, which will be joined heirs with Lord willing. You know, you have the Most High Yahweh, the king of the universe. You have his beloved and unique son, Yahweh Shai. You know, then you have a. Uh, uh, King David, you know, and then um, the elect as kings as well, man, you know. You know, the rest of Israel will be kings and princesses and things of that nature, but the, you know, the elect are like uh, the, the first rank amongst the nation, man, you know. And the earth is going to be set up again and kinos refreshed. 
and we'll have a kingdom where we live for righteousness, man. But you know, the point I'm homing in on is that that will come, but these things were written aforetime, man. You know, as we read above, so we must always consult the scriptures, you know, even as the hour draws close, man. Um, so with that, I'm out, man. Shalom.